Welcome to Time Out, a magazine show where you get an exclusive look into the everyday lives of some of your favorite sports personalities. Get the inside scoop on their daily routines as well as a look into some of the accolades they have collected throughout their illustrious careers. This is what I usually do, even when it's not locked down. So I like to watch a movie or play by the PlayStation during the evening. If I go to bed, you know, and you know, just chill. But it's a bit sore from training. So now it's time for me to relax and prepare again for the next day of training tomorrow. Focus. The man is not in the first set, first two sets. The man is in the last two boys. That's what you call dessert. Can you push yourself? And your body says you can't. That's the question. How far are you going to go? Yeah, as you guys know, um, during this tough time that we're going through with this virus and everything, you know, I just felt that you know I must I should give back, and I met up with my with the family Wiggle, you know, to help me uh, choose a, a, a home that we can give the people that, that need it most, you know, and we came up with uh, an idea to to do that today. Uh, a little bit that I'm doing, my part, it's kind of like uh, something personal for me. You know, I'm not all about the uh, hype and doing it for camera. So this is just out of the, the, the genuineness out of my heart, you know. It's, I mean, we need each other in this uh, difficult time, and, you know. I'm grateful in the position, you know, to help people that maybe cannot help themselves in a difficult time. So stay tuned, we're going back. We're going to hand it over to the people that need it the most, and see you later. Yeah, man, you know. Today we, shopping, eh? today we have a cheat day, you know. We're gonna have a little bribe, bought some things, you know, small stuff, two man bribe. Now we gotta keep the chocolates on the you know. I got a sweet tooth, man, you know what I mean? That's how we roll, man! Yeah, you know, cottage pie, microwave food from Woolworths, you know, small portions for me to maintain the weight level. You know, it's perfect for me, seeing that I can't cook. You know, I thought I'd just buy from Google. It's already packaged. All I need to do is put it in the microwave. It's convenient for me. It's easy. And it also helps me maintain a good level of weight for me, seeing that I'm somebody that gains weight easily if I don't train. So for those out there, there's other ways as well to, to try and lose weight by eating small portions, actually, and working out. It's also a simple form of, of weight loss. No, it's been tough being you know, at home, not being not being able to, to do what you love. But you know the sacrifice you're willing to make for the better for the greater good, which is the health of each individual of the country. And you know, we're doing our part by staying home and doing the most of what we can, which is home training. Now he has the square ball. Erasmus at the back post. Erasmus with a goal. We haven't heard any news yet from when we were we were we returning to football. But um we know that. There is uh, discussions going on, and hopefully we'll get a bit of news by the end of this week. Missing a lot of things, man, and hopefully when the, when the lockdown's over, we're not going to go back to any normality, but some sort of normality, you know, that we can we can experience the things we did when, when the lock, before the lockdown started. Hopefully the stadiums will be full. I'm sure each of my teammates are professional enough to do their bit in staying fit and maintaining a, a level of fitness. And by the time we get back, though, we can kick on, you know, so it's been good. I've done my part and I'm hoping everybody does their part for the, the great of the team, you know, so that's the most important thing, to be ready and to be fit. It's tough, it's tough, it's tough, it's tough. First off, analysis. I'm just taking it easy, man. You know? 
<laughs> so me, me think, huh? Eh? Give us something. <laughs> Ish, let's have it with me. <laughs> as you all don't know, I'm a sneakerhead. And as you can see down here, we've got Nike, all the Nike sneakers and Nike kicks. Seeing that I'm a sponsored athlete. <clears throat> so, got some Jordans, the Vapor Max, Air Max, these are my favorite. You know, custom pair that I ordered online when I was still in Europe. I've got a black pair, some running shoes, some Jordan 1s. You know, and I have, for some comfort, you know, you have to have the Balenci, you know. The Tim's, you know, gotta stay fresh in winter with the sweet Tim's. All black, everything. And over here, there's some of my collection. We keep it, we keep it swaggy, you know. That's it for the sneakers. Let me show you what I got upstairs, man. Yeah, so as you know, you know, I just got back uh, last year. So most of the shirts that I had is from players that I swapped with, you know. Um, and some of the shirts I kept from when I was playing in the countries I played in. But most of them I gave away. So we're going to start off with uh, a shirt I made up with a number that I'm quite be, uh, known for in South Africa, 95, you know. When I first chose the number, my, my agent gave me a call and said to me, you must, you must get a number that, that has some significance. And he said 95, and I, and I said, why? And he told me, yeah, for the mere fact that they won the CAF Champions League in 95. And at first I wasn't really keen on doing it, but then it actually rang a bell to me that if I had the number, Maybe I could help spur the guys on. And every time I wear the number, it could help them emulate the team in 95. This one I swapped with a teammate of mine, Chris David. Mukocho, good friend of mine, Luther Singh. And here I have this guy. This is the only guy in football that I've never seen an action picture with him and the ball at his feet. But okay, let's leave it for another day. There's a good homie of mine. <laughs> Grant Kekana, you know. This is good skills from Kekana. Now can he get Lungu going? Lungu might uh, have gone offside, so Kekana has to wait. Now Lungu back on side. Good return ball. Chance for Grant Kekana in that danger zone. No. Um, I'm a huge admirer of his ability as a footballer and, his, and him as a, as a human, you know, so he asked me to swap jerseys and I thought, why not, you know? It's good to have uh, players that you've played with and play against to swap with. So who knows? I might do that more often when the when the lockdown's over and maybe even give it to some fans. Here is another special shirt. Yeah, it's Polo Quali City, but it's pretty special because it is none other than Chabulani Maluleke. Maluleke, that's a good ball, good vision, back across. We know him as Mavocha. Yeah, I used to play with him at Super Sport. We used to call ourselves Mavarara in training. And Mavarara is a team that Mavarara is a team that could knock the ball from the back. So all the other people would be against us. So it would be me, Morgan Gold, Tabo September, Ronan Williams, Chabu Maduleka. This one I swapped with a, a guy I've known for since we were all, since we were 13 years old. Funny story about me and uh, Mukeke. We joined the academy together at the, at the same time in 2003. And as time went on, we found out we were born in, on the same day, month, and year. 8th of July, 1990, how ironic. He's from Kimberley, and I'm from Port Elizabeth. And we're born on the same day, same month, same year. And last but not least, this is just the shirt I, I kept from last season, you know. Pretty special, being back in the PSL. Cape Town City, you know. And Rasmus puts it in the back of the net, and the youngster is the man who sets it up, and Erasmus is the man who finishes it, and we have a game on. Beautiful team, beautiful family team, orientated. You know, it's, uh, it's been a great journey for me so far since I'm back. And, you know, this is what I've been up to during the lockdown. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for next time. Cheers.